Hello everybody, Chris with Wilson Exterior Cleaning here. Today I want to show you our 16 foot tandem axle trailer and go over everything that we have on it. Hope this will be helpful for you. And uh, the prices will be in the description of the YouTube video. All right, I'm gonna go over the equipment that I have. We've been in business for almost five years. So this isn't what I started with. And it's not necessarily the best equipment, but it'll work. I'll go over that with you. This here is a Honda GX690. It's a pressure washer engine got a Comet pump and a canine unloader. This is the back feed line from the unloader. You run that back into your tank. You've got the supply line, which is this black line going to the reel. On and off switch, you pull that off, get right to work. It's got its own gas tank. This is a 10 gallon. I believe I bought it from Walmart. So this gas tank is only for the eight gallon per minute unit. Then you have these other gas tanks. We use this for a four gallon per minute. We use this one for a uh, mix between oil and gas for the leaf blower, which I'll show you in a minute. And we use this one for just extra gas. With the bigger unit, these Honda GX690s, you've got to run the gas line and you've got to run the electrical. But what's cool about this electrical is it's got a rectifier, which will charge your deep cycle marine battery. And you also use that battery to start the unit. You just turn the key here. It's got a choke and a throttle. So when you're tank feeding a pressure washer, especially this eight gallon per minute, you have to have a filter. Uh, we've got these banjo filters. This one goes to the eight gallon per minute. We've got this heavy duty inch wide feed. So you're not gonna start this pump. These banjo filters unscrew right at the bottom, make it easy to clean them out. Come over here. This unit's got a flush valve if you need it to drain the water. Rinse your hands off. On this side, we've got a Honda GX390 with a AR pump on it and a chemical injector. Sometimes we tank feed it. Other times we run the garden hose over to it. But this unit will get your driveways done and get your houses done, everything you need. And we worked with a lot of these for a while before getting the eight gallon per minute. So that's just something to keep in mind. Let's go over the surface cleaners. To start, we've got a 20 inch BE Whirl Away. Uh, this is for the eight gallon per minute. So it's got special eight gallon per minute tips on it. You don't use this with the smaller units. It really won't spin. So on this side, we've got a 16 inch BE Whirl Away. It works with the four gallon per minute and they work pretty well. This side, we've got this little 15 inch, I believe it is. 4,000 PSI surface cleaner we got from Lowe's. This is just to do curbs and quick areas. You can attach that right to your wand. So right here we've got about 150 feet of uh, 4,000 PSI, 3 8 inch pressure hose. We just pull this off and work with it. It's always connected to the eight gallon per minute unit. Then you come over here. We've got about 350 feet of pressure hose stored right now. It's all 3 8 um, And again, this reel is just for storage. We'll pull it off and connect it to whichever unit we need it on. So here we've got a garden hose. And we've got 150 foot hooked up. And you pull up to the job to connect this. If they've got high water pressure coming from the spigot, it works well to fill. This is my fill line for my chemical tanks. And this would be my fill line for the water tanks going each way. On this side, we've got two chemical reels. Uh, this one's 200 feet of chemical hose. And this one is 250 feet of chemical hose, bigger reel. These spindles, you have to buy separately. I go through a couple of these a year. And this is half inch hose I have supplying these reels. You could also use something smaller like 3 8 but the half inch hose really works well. In these boxes, we've got the roof pumps. So with this roof pump, I'm gonna just pop this off here. That way you can see what's in here. But um, this is a fat boy pump. It's uh, seven gallons per minute. This one works really well. We've also got over here, a three and a half gallon per minute uh, northern supply pump. So both of these pumps have their own wiring, the positive and the negative. I've got a fuse on the positive side before each pump and before each battery on the positive side. So these wires go down into here and you follow them into this toolbox, which we'll go over with 
here in a second. So this toolbox is the brains of the operation. You've got your four gallon per minute tips. You've got your eight gallon per minute tips. So this J-Rod is for the eight gallon per minute. And you've got two smaller orifices provide fresh water and the two bigger orifices will pull soap from the chemical injector. So you keep that in mind when you're wanting to downstream chemical. This is a four gallon per minute J-Rod, same story. Two bigger orifices, two smaller orifices will pull fresh water. Bigger ones pull soap. This is a helpful tip. We use it for uh, blasting concrete. It's a rotary cleaner. This is your extract chemical injector if you wanted to use it. Uh, we don't use it very much, but it was helpful when we needed it. So we got our tips, tools, glasses, gloves, and keep some WD-40. Always helps out. So I'm gonna go over these batteries with you. These are Deep Cycle Marine batteries. I've always got this charger plugged in to both of them, so I can just plug it directly into the house through this orange cord if I needed to charge it. But like I said, that pressure washer will charge. The rectifier on that pressure cleaner will charge while it runs. So we get into this other one. These are the lines that the pressure cleaner uses to turn on and off. These are your fuses for both roof pumps are currently hooked up to this unit right now. And it pretty much stays the way it is with the exception of switching these power lines from the pressure washer to charge the batteries from time to time. So we've got these switches. You've got the gray reel and you've got the red reel. And the red reel is the pump that has less GPM. So I wrote it there. We just grab whichever one get to work. So here we've got the guns. I just put them in this PVC. We're going to paint that black to match the chamber. So this, uh, this is one here. And you've got a brush if you need it. I can change the head with different brushes and extensions. Got more extensions here. And this uh, 20 foot pole fed, I, I believe it is. Maybe 18 foot. It's super helpful. So over here is kind of my spare parts section. Need anything really? I mean, I'm not gonna open it up and go through it, but it's got everything you need. And got a first aid kit. Got this off Amazon. It's got a lot in it. Got some pull strings. Got bungee cords and a roof harness. If you're gonna do a steep roof, you wanna put this harness on. So let's go over the tanks. Uh, here we've got a 150 gallon tank. We usually use this for roof mix only. And then over there we've got a 100 gallon tank. I put regular SH in that and pure, just leave it downstream out of there. If I need more roof mix, I can pull from over there. And then we've got another 100 gallon tank over there that I'll put SH in pure. So this is really my mix tank for the roofs. And uh, I'm not running a proportioner right now. So I batch mix right here and it works out for me because we do two or three jobs a day and we run this thing dry. So these tanks here are 280 gallon totes, IBC totes. and. Um, they get the job done. We're gonna get something bigger eventually, but these work great. So with these tanks, we've put uh, four by four blocks, just some trash four by fours that I had lying around and we bolted them to the trailer to kind of elevate these tanks. And it helps with that water flow. I've really noticed a difference. Uh, we also use a grill cover to protect that unit. So I recommend keeping uh, water off of it, especially when you're not using it. So on my truck, we've got the ladder rack, which is super important. We've got a 12 foot aluminum uh, extension ladder. We've got a 28 foot fiberglass extension ladder. We've got a 12 foot A-frame fiberglass ladder and a six foot A-frame fiberglass ladder. They all come in handy at different times. Um, got a lot of garden hose here. I think 200 feet, just extra. So this is a belt drive, GX390, 3,500 PSI. Works great. So you've got a tank feed this unit because it's a belt drive. You really don't want to run it from a garden hose unless they have an insane amount of water pressure. Most house spigots are probably three gallons a minute to four gallons a minute. Sometimes you get into the city water, you can run that garden hose to the unit. So I got this soap from Sam's Club. It's dish detergent. You only really need to add a little bit of it to make it sticky enough for roof mix. And even less amount to make it good enough for house mix. I also keep Greaser. We don't really use it often, but it helps to have it. And some muriatic acid to clean brick. We've got to get the white saw it stains off of the brick. So we've also got a five gallon bucket here. We have a five gallon bucket over there. And I use those for fresh water, really just to 
flush the pump. Uh, at the end of each job, you just put the pump back into the tank and feed it with fresh water so that you can make sure that that pump's gonna last you a little while. Pretty soon we'll be switching to a proportioner and put it on the side of the tank. So you should have this respirator or something similar on your truck. Just really wear it when you're doing roofs, doing houses, working with SH. Life is long and uh, it's bad enough to be working with it. So wear this respirator. Let's go through, we've got boots so that the guys can wear them during surface cleaning. We've got a squeegee, which helps in tight areas to get the puddles out. We've got a rake for dirt. And with these reels, you'll notice that every uh, hose clamp is taped with electrical tape. So we've reached through here and you just scrape yourself just little things that you can tape off and prevent from bothering you, you know, in the future. So I've got this Craftsman leaf blower, super helpful. Uh, it was only, I think, $119 at Lowe's, maybe, maybe closer to 100. And this leaf blower is just enough to uh, leaf blow a roof before you're gonna apply, you know, soft wash mix or leaf blow a walkway after you've cleaned it and you notice some dirt kicked up on it. It's just really good to have one around. It saves a lot of time. All right, so that was my 16-foot tandem axle trailer, and I hope this video finds its way to you, you find it helpful, and please like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be putting up more content, and we have this American flag for America. You guessed it. <laughs> oh, that cloud was weak. Get some cleaning product.